lot is discussed about finding your own sound, finding your uh, style, finding your personality, finding uh, your individuality. Uh, you already have that. You just have to grow into it. If you're playing on somebody else's song and you're trying to bring the song to life and at the same time not get in the way of the song, that's, that's like the craft, you know, to try to find that part. I'm always trying to refine my sound. With every Rage record, with Audio Slave, with what I'm doing now, it's always a, a search. It's the tone that you're looking for, it's the sound, it's the relationship between sounds. That's what either makes sense or it doesn't, you know? And that's what I love about this instrument. You, you have so many different areas to cover. It's just a piece of wood <laughs> with frets on it, but everywhere I go, people have different versions of the way they approach it. I saw Billy Gibbons uh, opening for Alice Cooper in uh, 1974, I think it was, New Year's Eve, Buffalo, New York, and Billy Gibbons. <laughs> First time I saw that, we couldn't believe our eyes. We were sitting real close, and I was actually in the shadow of his hat. He had a big Texas hat on. Anyway, we looked at it, it's like, oh, unbelievable, you see this? And I went home, and ah, I can't believe this works. I don't look at it as people go, oh, practice. Hey, practice sounds like a work to me. I'm going to practice. No, it's different. If I don't play, I just feel empty. The main thing is to listen and be aware of what everybody else is doing. You know, this is like, bam, check this out, y'all. You know, if it feels good to you, if it makes sense to you, take it and do something else with it. I started off just kind of extending what I've been writing for miles into my own thing, you know what I mean? And then gradually start to find my, you know, my own voice. People down at the end of the street had a Sears Telstar four-string bass, short scale, horrible sounding bass, buzzed on every fret. I thought it was the greatest thing in life. The electric bass has expanded in quantum leaps. It's all the slapping and thumping stuff. For me, is rhythmic. I think drums. What it was like being in Guns N' Roses. But that, well, that's a huge story. For me, it happened overnight. I, I saw a bass player, Lawrence Cartel, play a gig in Croydon in South London on a Sunday lunchtime. Monday morning, I went out and bought a bass and never looked back. 